Hey, what's up everyone? It's Rob Balasabas here. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking into the thumbnail. Today I want to show you how easy it is to put your live chat comments, your live chat comments from your live attendees on screen using Restream. If you give me a few minutes, I'll show you how to do this step by step and you'll be doing this in no time. But before we do that, let's roll the intro. All right, so again, my name is Rob Balasabas. I'm gonna just jump right into this today and this is really, really easy, all right? Straightforward, I'm gonna move my uh, little headshot bubble here just a little bit so you can see everything on screen, but this is my Restream dashboard. If you're not signed up or don't have a Restream account yet, there's a link down below in the description. Click into that. That is an affiliate link, but click into that. You'll be able to uh, create a Restream account and you'll get into this. There's other tutorials on this channel on how to set up your destinations and all that stuff with Restream to connect your Facebook page, group, YouTube channel, Twitch, LinkedIn, all that fun stuff here. But given that you already have that set up, you can now follow along with this tutorial and I'm gonna show you how you can put your live chat comments from your live attendees right onto the screen and you'll still be on the screen and everything and I'll show you how to do that. So the first thing you do is go into here and then click on enter live studio or get to a live studio, whether that's a, a scheduled event, which is from here on the, on the left hand side um, or just jumping straight into a live studio, click into that, I'll show you how to do that. Let's click there. It's gonna load up my live studio now. Just waiting, just waiting. All right, here we go. And so you've got my camera right here. Hello, I'm gonna. Sh I'm just gonna shut down my camera here just to make things a little bit smoother and easier to watch. Okay, so this is your live studio dashboard here. So this is where normally your camera would go, of course. Um, and then here, you'll see it already. It's already here. So this right-hand column is where all of your live chat comments are gonna be showing up from your guest or for yourself if you're engaging as well. It's gonna be showing up right here. Now, how does that happen? Really, really easy. Um, they moved this, the Restream team actually moved where you can toggle this on, but where you're gonna go is in the chat tab right here. I'm gonna circle that, there it is, chat on the right-hand side, on the top right. My marker's not cooperating with me in this uh, in this uh, recording, but right there. And then right below that, you'll see the chat overlay, right? You see that? So chat overlay right above me here. So chat overlay. And that is really the toggle that puts the live chat on the screen like you see it here on the right-hand side of the screen. And also you can then turn it off there as well. So if I clicked on that, it takes it away from screen and you just get whatever you want else left on the screen. Now, if you have the live chat overlay right there, you can still imagine this is a comment, um, a live chat comment. You can still click into that and show that on the bottom of the screen like you normally could. So it's gonna show up here in just a second, um, but you can still show comments one at a time at the bottom of the screen. That's all good. Um, the only thing is that now you have the live chat comment that's happening in live feed on the right-hand side of the screen, which is, again, depending on you, depending on your audience, depending on your content, this might be a really cool way to make things interactive and more engaging for your audience. Now, caution, this is not for everyone. This is not for every type of channel. This is not for every type of content, every type of live stream even. So there you go, you see the uh, individual comments now showing up on the bottom of the screen. Now, again, caution is that you want to make sure that you are, you know your audience, that, you know, if you have a larger stream, that you have somebody helping you moderate that stream so that there's no trolls, right? Because those comments, if there's any sort of, you know, profanity or any, any, any comments that you don't want to be public, that you, you know, don't want showing up on your screen, you got to be really careful with you know, making sure that you know your guests, you know your, you know, your audience, all right? So that's just my heads up, that's just my one warning because now every comment is going to be pulled into uh, your screen, it's gonna show up. Now, whether that's YouTube Live or Facebook, if you're multi-streaming, it's all going to be showing up 
um, on your screen. So that's just my word of caution, but it's a really fun tool. Um, I'm gonna go back to camera here. It's a really fun tool and I think, you know, it's has its place. Um, and so just make, make sure, again, just be careful. Uh, but it's a fun tool. It's a cool engagement uh, feature and tool that you can use for your live stream. So there you have it. Again, if you have any questions around this, leave me a comment. Make sure you like this video. Make sure that whether this is your first time or 100th or 200th or 300th time watching one of my videos, if you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. I am really excited to get to 5,000 subscribers very, very soon. And so I'd love for you to join me on that journey and be one of my subscribers joining us in our community uh, once we reach that milestone. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care.